The Yes Network presents New York Yankees baseball. And tonight, in an exhibition matchup, the American League champion New York Yankees take on the Cincinnati Reds. Another beautiful night here at Legends Field. Another sellout. One of the few spring training sites where every ticket is sold for every game. And it's been a gorgeous run of days here in Tampa, Florida. And it continues tonight for the Yankees against the Reds. And a good evening, everybody. I am Michael Kay, and welcome to opening day. Now, I know that it's the middle of spring training, and it's not April 1st yet, but it is opening day for the Yes Network, so that's pretty important. Now, it's the Yankees against the Reds tonight, but it's not only Yankee baseball on the Yes Network. We have a lot of other things going on, some programming that you're really going to enjoy. Center Stage, a one-on-one -on -one interview show that I happen to host, so that, of course, is my favorite. Yankeeography. Yankee Classics, Yes Magazine, you also have Yankee Magazine, and we have the simulcast of the very popular Mike and the Mad Dog show, and that will be on from Monday through Friday. Now, this game is the first of 135 Yankee games that you are going to see on the Yes Network. Now, a little bit later on in the week, you're going to meet some very popular faces that you've seen before. Bobby Mercer and Ken Singleton. And joining us a little bit later on, well, in very special pre- and post-game appearances, Paul O'Neill, that's right. So if you think starting a network is tough, how about convincing Paul O'Neill that he's going to be a broadcaster? But we did just that. Now, joining me in the booth tonight, as he will for most of the season, is Jim Cott. Jim's done it all. Obviously, 25 years of baseball playing, all those gold gloves, and obviously a world championship as well. It's a pleasure to join you in the booth, and it's a pleasure to be part of the Yes Network. Well, I feel the same way, Michael. You mentioned Paul O'Neill. Boy, that's something to get him out of the on-deck circle up here in the broadcast booth. I'm looking forward to that, but... It's going to be a great run. It always is exciting following the New York Yankees. Well, obviously, there's some changes up here, and there's some changes on the Yankee team. They came within two outs of winning the World Series, but that's not close enough for the Yankees. They made some changes to get those two outs back. Well, they lost the World Series because it didn't hit well, but I don't know who could have hit Schilling and Randy Johnson, but just to see if they could, they went out and got Jason Giambi. That's the marquee offseason signing, and, of course, the Yankees hope they're going to have more of an on-base percentage home run hitting type of team this year. You see the numbers that Giambi has piled up, including the 2000 American League Most Valuable Player Award. They surrender a little defense in losing Tino Martinez, but they hope they make up for it in run production from Giambi. Now, obviously, you mentioned all of the new players, and it's been a pretty good spring training for the Yankees so far, except for one thing. There have been some nagging injuries. Well, the players get down to spring training so early. They've been down here for months, so the teams get overly protective with him, particularly Rondell White. I'd say that's the injury the Yankees are most concerned about. And Ramiro Mendoza. Chances are he'll start the season on the disabled list. As far as Bernie Williams, Andy Pettit, everybody has a little, you know, a strained muscle or a pulled muscle here or there that they nurse along, but I think they'll all be ready for opening day. Now, the Cincinnati Reds have been hurt by injuries for the last two years, specifically Ken Griffey Jr., one of the best players in baseball. He seems to be healthy now, and boy, the Reds need him. You know, Ken Griffey Jr. is only 32 years old. I say only because these days we see players being very productive into their late 30s. Check out those numbers. He already has 460 lifetime home runs, 10 gold gloves, a former MVP. If he could put six more productive years together, we're talking about Barry Bonds catching Hank Aaron. Ken Griffey Jr. could be the guy to do it. Well, the Yankees that's going to try to stop Ken Griffey Jr. tonight is David Wells, and it's time for Nissan to present tonight's pitching matchup. Nissan, driven, Jose Acevedo will go for the Cincinnati Reds, and the boomer, David Wells, goes for the New York Yankees.